Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're watching the News at 10 live on Channel's television. A reminder of our top stories. President Buhari inaugurates technical committee to advise government on funding and sustainable implementation of proposed new minimum wage. Vice President Professor Yemir Shibato and Nobel laureate Wale Shoinka seek to draw global attention to the dangers of fake news, warn it can trigger a world war if left unchecked. INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu insists security agencies must work in synergy with the electoral umpire to ensure the success of the 2019 elections. And British Prime Minister Theresa May loses Brexit House of Commons vote as rebel Conservative MPs side with Labour against her EU withdrawal deal. ChannelsTV.com has more information for you and on YouTube.com forward slash channels web you can watch our videos. You can also watch us on your mobile device via your browser or download the Channels TV app for Android iOS devices from their respective stores. Besides giving you access to news updates on the go, the Channels TV, Channels 24 app have an eyewitness feature that you can use to share pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Just install the app then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and please follow the instructions. The River State Governor, Yesun Wike, is asking the National Electoral Commission, INEC, to be fair to all political parties as preparation heightened for the general elections. Governor Wike is also asking that the electoral umpire act in accordance with the dictates of the law by obeying all court rulings, especially the ones concerning the River State Governorship election. The Governor was speaking on our breakfast program. Sunrise Daily. Buruji and Co. had a judgment from the Federal High Court against Adebutu, recognizing Buruji's own team. And I said, INEC immediately wrote to PDP that they are going to comply with the judgment of court. Well, now, yeah, yeah. I, and then I now said, too. Now, look at the way they play the game. Now, the same thing has happened. We are, the court has notified the problems of APC, and one of the factions now wrote to INEC and said, look, there's no judgment that not a fight, therefore don't take that, we have ours. Now, we, we expected INEC as an unbiased umpire, as having done the same thing with PDP in the case of uh, Augustate. Now, so I also have written to APC, we are going to comply with the judgment. Right after they didn't do that, what they did was notifying them of the judgment. You, you know, so, with, so you cannot see. With what you're saying now, Your Excellency, you're implying that it looks as if whatever INEC does, you will not see any good in it. This is not whatever INEC does. You must have to show people that you are really sincere in what you are doing. Let's take you to our Buddhist studios where Ibrahim Adra is standing by for more. Hello, Ibrahim. Thank you, Millicent. Now, a total of 16 suspects have been interrogated at the State Criminal Investigations Department, Guanti, Lagos, over yesterday's attack at the APC campaign rally ground in Ikeja, Lagos. One of the leaders of the National Union of Road Transport Workers in the state, Mr. Mustafa Dekule, also known as Sego, has also been declared wanted. Speaking on the attack, the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Imohimi Edgar, explains that the police will ensure that all perpetrators will be arrested and brought to justice. 2, 2 a.m., I led my men on a raid to Lagos Island where I got intel that some of the boys were hired from. In, in those two locations, by the Millennium Housing Estate, the, the uncompleted Millennium Housing Estate, uh, and under the, some areas under the bridge at Adenji Adele, we arrested 14 suspects. Some of them have given us useful information. The Deputy Commissioner of Police uh, Investigation State CID is handling this matter personally. So as at now, we have a total, we have a total of 16 suspects that, we have been, that are currently interrogated. The, the preliminary investigation we have carried out reveals that it is just their intra-party national union crisis. I hear that their state chairman is exiting soon. And there are some players who are fighting to take over from him. But please, for crying out loud, is it the flag off of a governorship candidate that is a good venue for them to begin to do their inter-party squabbles? 
Fortunately, we have a video recording of the entire incident. And that is why we have been able to narrow down some of the key players in the in the mayhem. And that's why we have declared one of the NURT uh, members uh, uh, wanted. From Lagos to Jigawa, where pandemonium broke out in Gume local government area of the state today as a procession of supporters of the People's Democratic Party were dispersed by the police. The PDP faithful alleged that the police fired tear gas to stop their rally, a move they say is unjust, as a letter was written to inform the, uh, of the assembly. Meanwhile, the Commissioner of Police in the state, Mr. Bala Zama Senchi, explains intelligence reports warn of a possible disruption by political thugs which informed their decision to stop the rally. The, the, uh, the uh, police command that we are going to have, uh, have a, uh, a zone of rally today in Ngumia. They give us the, their consent that they are aware. And uh, just today in the morning, the state commissioner of police called the chairman of uh, Compian Committee telling him that uh, there is a, there is a likelihood in, uh, hoodlums will infiltrate our 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 gathering which is uh, which is not normal and uh, i am i am from this town i am being i've been i'm in pdp for the last 20 years we have been doing our own political gatherings on women on Wednesdays, on market days. So I, I, don't think, I, I don't think the commissioner of police that came to Jigawa just yesterday will be telling us what to do here in Gumel. I don't think it's, it's, it's not, with the old lesson we inform him, and it's our constitutional right to gather and campaign for our party within these three months. We realize that in their letter, they have not said this is the location where the rally will take place in Gumen. They did not indicate. Until in the night, I called the area commander and we were discussing about uh, the strategy to ensure that uh, they hold a peaceful flag of campaign in Gumen. So he now told me that the location where they are going to hold the rally is just by the market and that there is no way they will hold a such rally without disrupting traffic and movement of people and the likelihood that there will be breach of the peace. Still on party politics, the governorship candidate of the Allied People's Movement, APM, in Ogun State, Adekule Akinlade, is assuring the people of Ogun Waterside local government area that he will bring investments to their communities. Mr. Akinlade says he understands the plight and prospects of the river and communities and that he is ready to utilize the diverse benefit of the water that surrounds them to create economic and social development for the people. It is, it is, it is. Political campaigns in full gear and the Allied People's Movement travels the length and breadth of Ogun State. The party's campaign team takes a journey to Ogun Waterside local government, an area of the state with a coastline on the Bay of Benin. It's time to move, but this time not with their vehicles. A 30 minutes to an hour boat ride to communities on the fringes of the ocean does not seem like a kind of adventure for some party members. So they bid farewell to those leaving for the other side as they await their return. Many locations, different supporters, all rooting for the candidates. He says they will bring investors to their communities. The state cannot develop if we don't invest in our rural communities. Government has no business in business. Government has no business in business. Our business is to create a neighboring environment. 
give access roads to investment for them. The private people will come and put their money. Because when you use government money for business, that business will fail. But when private people invest their money, they will dispute to it that it works. At that level. Then you pay the investment. And, and we're discussing many things on the boat coming. Say, wow, look at wealth, look at the money. It is not, the money is not in Abekuta, the money is not in Oka. The money is here in our waters. The money is here in our communities. From one ward to another, the messages resonate. The day passes and the routine continues the next day, with both the candidate and his host communities interacting on how best they can work together. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, believes President Muhammad Buhari's administration has been unable to address the issue of insecurity because it has failed to provide jobs. Speaking in MENA, Niger State, during the party's presidential campaign rally, the PDP candidate promised to address the problems of security if voted in. Here's our correspondent, Larry Lassisi, with that report. It's a big reception for the presidential campaign team of the People's Democratic Party as it arrives in Mina, the Niger state capital. With banners in the air and music playing, the occasion takes on the appearance of a carnival. Present are leaders of the party from the state and outside the state. One by one, the party leaders step up to address the crowd. Niger can we give a people of worker 80%? Yeah. Can we give him 80%? Yeah. Your Excellency, Mr. President, Atiba Abubakar, you can see that Niger State is being in the state. The women have told me to tell you that you should be raised as sure that they are for you. <laughs> Leaders of the party at the national level also encourage the crowd to vote for their candidate. That they will bring food to our people. Today, Nigeria is the capital of hunger in the entire world. Have they performed? They say they will fight corruption. As of today, there is corruption in the country. What do you say? So, they are failed on this is, and that is why they must leave. And let us bring a man that has experience. We are going to report them to ECOWAS. We are going to report them to African Union. We are going to report them to European Union. We are going to report them to United Nations. They must go. It wasn't time for the highlight of the event, the speech of the presidential candidate. According to him, the present administration has failed to address the security challenges facing the country. I want to commit to you that if you vote for PDP, the insecurity which they have not been able to control, we shall control that insecurity. Because you know why they have been unable to control the insecurity? is because they have not been able to provide jobs and businesses for you young people. So by the time we provide jobs and we provide businesses for our young men and women, you will hear less crime and less insecurity. The party's governorship candidate was then presented to the people. Lanre Lassisi, Channel Television News. You're watching Channels Television where the